Well, well, well. Another interesting flavor review. Just like my Michael Myers video, I have another um, interesting review. So, <laughs> this is a new for 2021. Um, three and a half foot Minnie Mouse from Lowe's. I like uh, the Minnie Mouse there. This is a mini, um, just in a, eh, I guess a dress as a vampire. That's kind of neat. You know, this is the Lowe's one by Jimmy this year, blah, blah, blah. Here it is, uh, medium cheap fan, one LED. Um, for those of you who don't know, they raised the price on all the cheap fan licensed ones for Halloween this year to, um, um, they, they raised the prices on the three and a half footers they went up five bucks and on the air doorables they went up I think two bucks or three bucks something like that I think two bucks they went up yeah two bucks they went up I believe go on the website and uh, check them out you'll, you'll see what I mean so but I know for a fact all the three and a half footers and the hanging ones they went um, up five bucks they were all twenty nine ninety eight, and they and they are now thirty four ninety eight. So they went up five bucks exactly. So interesting thing with this one, you guys know I got the. Well, for those of you who don't know, but for those of you who watch the channel, um, I had the Mickey from Home Depot this year, and a lot of you who know me personally were saying get a mini this year and they sold out on the website for Home Depot and so I got the Walmart one okay but a lot of you were saying that's too big and I completely agree so I went into Lowe's and I went to Home Depot twice today and I got a bunch of stuff and I went to Target and BJ's BJ's had no inflatables out um but I did talk to some people. Um, the tree is delayed, along with the pumpkin reaper and a couple others. So um, the hanging spider is going to be in stores, and there might be another one or two in stores this year. So yeah, that is that. But anyways, um, back to this. So I went to Lowe's, my local Lowe's, and they had this on display, Mickey on display. And Jack Skellington on display, the three and a half foot one, the Oogie on display, three and a half footers. All four of them, three and a half footers. They kept the original prices on them for twenty nine ninety eight, like taped over the entire box, if you guys know what I mean. So, I saw that a time for me to get one of these for that price. Because, for those of you who don't know, talk with the manager and whatnot, professionally... And tell them, hey, this, and show them, well, the display says twenty nine ninety eight or whatnot, or a lower price, and pretty much all the time, or 99% of the time, they will give you it for that price, because the item says, which I hope that if there's a price that's cheaper than another price, they'll give it to you for the lower price, if it, if it matches the item. Like, for example, this mini is the same, obviously the same one on the display, you know, They'll give it to you for the price, because, you know, the customer is always right, especially in a situation like that. They'll give it to you for the price. You know, it's a business, it, you know, it's a sale, you know. You're showing them proof and evidence that, hey, you know, this price is cheaper. Not to mention they did change the price on it, but they didn't change the price on the display models. Um, another thing that I noticed, they, they didn't do that with other locations, too, but... So, I actually got this one because I talked to the managers and whatnot. They sold it to me for twenty nine ninety eight, even though they raised the price and whatnot, but, um, which I think it's really stupid, especially now. Why would you change the price now? It's one thing you change it, um, like, right at the beginning, uh, like, you raise the price in the off season, and then when you get the shipment at the new items... You know what I mean? Like, the next season, you change the price. You know what I'm saying? Not, like, halfway through the season, change the price. That doesn't make any sense. Like, two weeks after we have the items out, or two, three weeks after we um, have the items out, or, 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 let's raise the prices 
and make more money because these things were selling out well. Um, so that's probably why they did it because they were selling out well. Oh, we have a few left. Let, let's raise the prices more. So let's be greedy and selfish and make more money because you know that's a corporation's um, plans, of course. You know, corporations are never your friends. Remember that, all of you. Corporations are never your friends, and if there's no money being made, then there's no profit being made. And of course, <laughs> that's another story. But corporations are never your friends, and they're all about money. They're all about money. I've never liked them. I never will. But Lowe's is one of my least favorite places to get the flavors from because out of all the stores, they're the most expensive. Is like price wise, they're very expensive in flavors. Even at home is starting to get expensive. Well, at home is the remake store. I call it, I call them the the remake store right now. Um, well, Seasons is the remake online store, but in store wise, um, what's it called? At home is definitely the remake store for sure. Depot's starting to get expensive, especially for their twelve footers for sure. They're outrageous. Walmart for price wise is the best place to go. Um, the workers there, well, are hit or miss, but. You know, that's with anyone, but it, it just depends, to tell you the truth, but I don't know, but that's, that's this, that's the story with this, um, see if you guys can get one for that, talk with the manager, and be professional about it, of course, and if the display says it for that price, with Jack, or Oogie, or whatever, or Mickey, or Minnie, they probably will sell you sell you it for that, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you for the next one.